Hello everybody, welcome to my works channel. It's time to tag when to see one of the family. They are really poor and his name is Hong Simang and his wife name Eun Su Khan and they has five children but one of them died and just have four and two of them went to Phnom Penh and worked as the contractor and the other two at the village one worked at the factory but uh, the factory is going to close and sometimes they didn't have any work either it's just left early and got one of them work in the club but only got one hundred dollar and a month it's very low income so um she moved here and bought this land it cost her twenty four hundred dollar but they all working hard even her husband herself and four kids too to pay off this load twenty four hundred dollar and right now they got really difficult time because their house is leaking they loan the money and they make a monthly payment and they only be able to pay eight months right now but some they cannot pay because mostly they just paid for the interest because they didn't have any money especially her husband used to be a driver a tuk tuk driver he got problem with his kidneys and inflammable joint so uh, day by day it's going bad She loaned the money, $1,000, to send him to the hospital, but the disease cannot be treated, and it caused more problems. So up to the COVID-19, and he went down really bad on his health, and both of his legs cannot uh, move anymore, and just uh, not under his control. It, I think the nerve is uh, gone and then his two legs numb and he not be able to go to work anymore and herself Eun Sokhan she is work in the factory too but uh, when she getting old the factory just lay her off don't have any more job so they have very difficult time to pay for their loan They owe the electrical bills about 60,000 real. It's in American dollar, it's $150. It's a lot of money, so they owe the water bill, they owe for everything too. So uh, right now they cannot be able to pay their loan, only pay some interest. Uh, they also worry about their life, so they don't know what to do. It probably the bank or some companies that they have the money for her to loan it she can borrow it maybe they take the how take the land back uh, in Cambodian it's not many job available even they have the job too um, the job pay really little it's not a whole lot for their pay for their living so that why it costs and affects a lot of people in the family getting very poor poor and go back to his house so this land they bought it in 2017 in the price of 2400 but they already paid off but they took some of the equity loan to buy some tin to building the wall because the wall and the roof is leaking they build it from the tin and that time from time to time to 
so uh, the job get it ringing down and very slow and they lay off and they didn't have any money to pay for the loan and uh, really something going on for their lives and harder and harder. He got three sons and one daughter, so one of them did die uh, a few years ago. Before they moved here, they lived in Kokkel in Kandal province, and they rent a house or apartment, but they are very expensive. only some uh, opportunity for them to save up some money but make a payment little by little so to them and they can own the land but now uh, get into real trouble and face into the lack of work without any work open so they close one by one the company is not easy um, even they work on the labor job, they're not be able to work too, but her husband used to earn some income and herself too, but right now everything just stop and not be able because the problem is the health condition. They get older and you already know about the Cambodian people live in Cambodia because you know you actually inspect all the food, the food whatever they grow. They want to earn some profit so they grow fast and over feed and fertilize to all kinds of the plant that we use to eat it and then it's not under control of USDA. And those chemicals that they feed to the plant and when people eat it costs into the system and all kinds of the function is not working right because especially for liver the doing their job over 500 functions but uh, it, it the liver cannot detect all kinds of the chemical out so they make it a bad condition and a bad movement and a bad you know like the body work is not very well and cause all kinds of disease a lot of people dying young and a lot of people you're still getting sick like them about 55 years old and her about 51 years old and they all got in sick already. In Cambodia, uh, Cambodian people like the over 50, they got really, really sick and nothing can help them to stay more healthy. It's not like in America. In America, we get better life. We got good uh, hospital, good doctor and good medication and good benefit like insurance or the government have medical medicare and we can go and then without pay anything it's not much but if we don't have a job we have nothing at all like we can apply for the, the section eight or the other option that the government available here and we can survive and we can live but we're not gonna get rich but we can survive better than cambodian live in cambodia right now faced to the problem of poverty lies and everywhere is no job available it's really hard that why i do this job and put all my time to uh, this job and focus on it to help them what i can i got my team who work and protect at cambodia so i'm uh, live in the united states and helping them the best i can because i always said every video because I used to live there, I know how it is, and then I get in the opportunity land in America, so I had to look back, I have <coughs> enough everything, it's not a whole lot, I'm not rich, but I have everything, I can help them back, so this is a good time for me to help me back, and I get older too, and when I die, I'm not going to take everything with me, so only do the charity thing and contribute what I can to helping them. That all's about it. You guys like it, please help to share the video when you see it. 
to let the other people see it probably they want to donate please leave the comment we will get it started from there and then thank you for your watching and for your support also thank you very much for you will like you and if you would like uh, to help support please subscribe my channel my work channels and don't forget to click notification bell to get new video upload every 6 p.m at central time thank you for everything and for your support and if you will like you we'll see you guys on the next video bye bye you guys have a wonderful day bye bye now We're just doing what we can so Putak is the peep. He bring $25 contribute by Sister and she contribute $2,000 but we split into $25 per family. If the other want to help, yeah, we started from there. And thank you very much for your contribute and to helping them, uh, Sister Reese. You can see they're so happy to help them out a little bit, not a whole lot, but we just do what we can. We're working hard on this, and then we got some contribute from people donated, and then we're gonna give to them some and what we can. We just split in too many pieces, like see donate for twenty hundred dollars, and we split into twenty five dollar per family.